Unity, Unreal or Godot? Which one do you think is going to be the engine of the year 2022? Leave a comment down below and please tell me. We have seen that in 2021, a lot of events happened that might foresee what's upcoming for 2022. I'm Adrian, welcome to Redefine, let's get this started. Unity is a strong candidate because it has the biggest market share of them all. It has a lot of tools and plugins right out of the box and it also has a lot of export possibilities for different platforms. Unity also became a public company. Well, that actually happened in 2020, but most of the decisions regarding its direction were taken in 2021, which means the last year. Why does Unity becoming a public company matter to us game developers? It means that now they have investors and investors want to see profits. And of course, that is gonna be their main goal. And for this, since they already have saturated the game development market, they are looking towards other markets. And speaking of markets, probably you have seen the rebrand that they did last year. And that was for a good reason, because they want to distance themselves from game development so they can access architecture, automotive, industrial, and many other industries. What this means is they'll provide more for them. And actually, since they cannot grow too much in the game development space, probably it means that they might provide less for us game developers. Because they did promise a lot of stuff, a lot of buzzwords, let's call them. So dots, networking, um, package manager, render pipelines, input systems, and many, many other stuff. And as I saw somewhere on the internet and, and I thought it was funny, most of Unity's features are either early access or deprecated. This actually will create a rift between game developers, package providers, and much, much more, because even the versions, some people still use older versions, and newer versions have stuff removed, others added. You don't know what's going where. So it's kind of a mess right now, and who knows what will be their next step in all of this. Also, their recent acquisitions of other companies don't actually seem to provide that much value, if any, to game developers and especially indie game developers. And might seem like big buzzwords, uh, like Weta Digital, but in fact, they might not have that much importance to people that create a 2D mobile game, for example. I think Unity's biggest problem is actually its market share. In game development space, it's actually a double-edged sword because they cannot longer grow that much but other engines can. But how can other engines grow? By taking share out of Unity's reach. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen with Unity this year. I don't think it will uh, go grow that much, at least in the game development space. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about artificial intelligence in games, I'm hosting a free webinar, link down below. And speaking about competing with Unity, I think Unreal, especially Unreal 5, is actually a strong competitor to it. Epic's strong point is the fact that they don't need to take away money directly from game developers until they reach a huge threshold, which is 1 million US dollars, because they, they can take revenue from games like Fortnite and put it in their engine and also provide awesome, awesome free tools like um, Quixel, which offers photogrammetry and recently they actually solved one of the biggest challenges, which is photogrammetry in trees. They offer this for free if you use their engine. And not only this, but they also release for free other AAA packages on their store, which is crazy. I mean, how can you compete with that? It seems clear to me that they are competing with Unity in the higher end sector. That means AAA games, even AA games for that matter, it also movies, and other sectors, like real-time renderings, and they have a huge advantage, and that is the time that they had in the engine for tools like the material editor, the blueprint system, the particle systems, and they are ways ahead of Unity. Unity tries to copy them. For example, they try to have their own blueprint solution, they try to have their own shader editor, but Unreal already has them, and has them really, really well polished. They're ahead of this game. This all sounds fantastic, but there is a catch, right? Well, if you're doing anything else than a AAA game, a AA game, a movie production or anything else, 
if you're just developing a 2D pixel platformer game or a mobile game or something smaller, then Unreal Engine is a super bloated and a big engine. It's actually massive. You need a powerful PC to run it and you need a lot of space to get all the assets. And what if you just want to make a simple game? Well, in this case, you should check Godot. Godot, in my opinion, has the highest chance of becoming huge in 2022. What are the reasons behind this? Well, first, Godot received some new funding. While this is not much compared to Blender, not even Unreal or Unity for that matter, but they are continuously getting more and more funding. And that means that the companies put their trust in them. And if more companies will put more trust in Godot, then at some point they'll reach a budget where they can actually hire more people to develop more cool stuff in it. And this is just the beginning because it will just go bigger and bigger. And if it reaches Blender level, for example, then we'll have an engine that is completely free without any strings attached that we can do anything with it. And I'm really hoping for that, actually. Another important thing is that God of War is going to launch in 2022. And while this is a huge milestone, this won't fix everything. By the way, I have a video about this popping up right now. But the main thing is that this will attract a lot of people to try this new engine because it has a lot of new features that people might have not picked it up because they were not in the previous versions. Godot is getting more learning resources and to free tutorials on YouTube are popping every single day now. And this is great. And not only this, but we also get a lot of high-end structured content that provides a comprehensive learning material. And this is clearly visible from the successful Kickstarters of both GD Quest and Canopy Games in 2021. So I think this trend will rise as we go into 2022. Making Godot games will actually become much more profitable in the near future. And that means money, like real money because Gotham.io will include in their platform a way to monetize your games if you upload them there. So this is great because everyone can make a game and actually make money out of it without too much friction in between. So you make a game and if people play it, they will actually pay for it. What about exporting to consoles? Well, while Godot is definitely not near Unity or even Unreal in terms of exporting stuff, Things are changing and they're changing fast because both Pineapple works and Gotham provide quick ways of porting your games to Nintendo Switch and also the official Godot team is working closely with Valve to make sure that Godot will be fully supported on the upcoming Steam Deck. I also want to mention a project that is very dear to me because I'm the main organizer of it and that is Go Godot Jam. We started Go Godot Jam in 2021 and there are already two editions of this jam and it's not a jam actually it's a full festival because it has a lot of other events like live streams tutorials um, that are coming every single day that will increase godot's learning material but you also bring the community together and you'll have so much fun by the way if you're interested in learning more about gogodo jam i put a link down below lastly Godot space is not saturated as Unity is. How can this actually help us? Well, in two ways. First, if you're a content creator and you are making any kind of Godot content on YouTube, for example, tutorials, live streams, there are not as many as Unity's. The other one, which is not actually very obvious, um, is the fact that, for example, if you make a game with Godot, the players won't know if, if, if it's Godot or Unity, but the publications out there might know this and might promote it because there are not so many games that are made with Godot that get released. So your game might get free advertising just because it's made with Godot. So think about this. I'm super hyped about what Godot will achieve this year. And for us developers, what can we do as well? We just have to wait or don't wait at all. If you are on the edge, just go to their page, download the engine and just try it right now. And it won't reach the, um, the fourth versions level, but it's already really, really great. So give it a try and let me know how that went. For me, it's already the game engine of the year. I'm Adrian, this is Redefine, and I'll see you in the next one.